And now a child abuse prevention expert is weighing in on the recent allegations against a local priest. Mobile County Sheriff says Alex Crow had a pattern of grooming girls at a local high school before he ran off to Italy with one of them. Shelby Myers has been working on this story back in the studio with an important conversation. And Shelby, you say the grooming from what the experts tell you might be hard to pick up on at first. Exactly, Lamise. Andy Wynn, executive director of the Child Advocacy Center, says grooming can start off when an adult does something ordinary, like making a child feel special and secure. But then it takes a dark turn. We talk about the word grooming. Do we think that that's what has been happening here? In my opinion, yes. I mean, it, it's gone on. It appears that there's been some type of interaction for the last couple of years, you know, not just with this particular student, but, but others. That's Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch talking to me late last week about dismissed father Alex Crow. The Corpus Christi priest who listened to confessions and sat in on theology classes at McGill Tulin High School. He's also described as being fascinated with demonology and exorcisms. Birch says he and a now 18-year-old former McGill student are in Italy together in love with no plans of ever coming back. Birch believes the priest was grooming high school girls, including the one he's in Italy with, for more than a year. So what is grooming? It begins to build trust with the kid. And a lot of times it's people who you would like around, around your child, you know, who you would think. And it's things that good people do with, with children every day, you know, are kind to them, engage with them, do things with them. But when we're talking about grooming, um, in the context of today of, of sexual abuse, we're really talking about it's leading to something that's very bad. Andy Wynn, executive director of the Child Advocacy Center, a resource for abused children, says grooming typically happens by someone a kid trusts. Probably 10% of kids are going to experience some type of grooming or, or sexual contact by someone in their school, teacher, counselor, coach, whatever, within the school system in their lifetime. Wynn says while grooming in itself isn't a crime, it leads to one. And there are things to look out for, specifically a big change in a kid's behavior. Is someone beginning to isolate this child, wanting to do more and more things with them by themselves? Is the child becoming enamored with this person? And when adds, if you think you're being groomed, tell a parent or an adult you can trust. Also, go ahead and report it to police so they have it documented. Lenise.